Thousands of United Auto Workers across the country remain off the job. Today marks day number 13 of the nationwide strike against General Motors. Officials are back at the bargaining table right now after talks last night ended with no deal. Our Dan Koob tells us what workers are fighting for at a rally outside the General Motors plant in Langhorne. There's time for change and the time is now. Yeah. For nearly two weeks, it's a big message to send to all the workers. United Auto Workers have been on the picket line. It's time that that we are given a fair shake here. Over 70 local union members walked off their jobs at General Motors September 16th after they say health care has been cut and workers have not received a pay increase in over a decade. It's very frustrating. It's frustrating because we feel like the people at the top really don't care about us. It's not getting any cheaper to live, but they want to just keep just taking and taking and taking from us workers. Me, myself, getting up at 2.30 in the morning to be to work at 4, sometimes I work 4 to 4, just to make the money that I should be getting on a basic salary. Workers on strike continue to ask for quality, affordable health care, job security, and fair wages. And those who are now almost two full weeks on strike say they have no plans of backing down. We're, do we're doing what we have to do. We're surviving. We're going to do what we have to do to stay so the strike's ended. One day longer, one day stronger. That's what we're saying. Nearly 46,000 GM workers have been striking, affecting 55 sites in 10 states. Talks between General Motors and the UWA reportedly continued Saturday. They've been bailed out by the federal government. They've received now a huge tax cut uh, via Congress and, and the president in, uh, almost two years ago now. And yet those benefits have not come back to working families. We made you what you are. So you need to start treating us fairly. In Langhorn, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.